So what the power of power states, ladies and gentlemen, the power of power states that if I have an exponent x and it's raised to a power, and then it's inside parentheses, and that is now raised to another power. So when you have a power that's raised to another power, what we do to simplify is now we multiply the exponents. And this gets a lot of students confused because they always want to confuse this with the product rule, right? Because remember, the product rule stated we add exponents. And that was when you're multiplying the bases. But now, when we take a power raised to another power, we're going to multiply them. So let's go and take a look, Sadiq, of why this would make sense. Let's do, um, let's take uh, 3 squared cubed. Okay? And let's take a look at exactly what this means. Well, 3 squared cubed, well, let's actually, let's just follow the rule here. 3 squared cubed means you're going to have 3 to the 6th power, correct? All right, let's go and see exactly what 3 squared is. 3 squared cubed means 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. Would you guys agree that's what 3 squared cubed means? You're going to take whatever's inside the parentheses and multiply it by itself 3 times, right? Then, what does 3 squared really mean? That means 3 squared means 3 times 3. So really, this is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if I was to write this all the way out, these parentheses are multiplication, right? So it's really 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is equivalent to 3 to the what power? 6. All right? So by applying the power of the product rule, right, you just need to make sure that when you take an exponent and you raise it to another exponent or a power to another power, um, you're going to multiply them. All right? Very good. I wonder, do they do?